long as Dad pulls it tight. There we go. Tight. It won't be tight enough today. All right, so, uh, as is tradition, whenever one of our students gets a black belt, they always have to make a speech. Now, two, two points before Alex Toth makes a speech. Number one, this is unlike any other black belt ceremony we've had so far because this was a complete surprise. He didn't know it was coming today. So that was his mother's doing, so it was good, okay? Uh, secondly, if there was ever any any kid in this school who, who won't have a problem talking without, <laughs> without prior thought in any way, it's Alex Toth. So uh, go ahead, make your speech. Um, I just want to thank a lot of people for helping me through this. My mom, my baby sister, my grandmother, and Maeve. Maeve was always the one who punished me when I did something wrong. <laughs> Even when I did something right, including on the self-defense, that's when she punished me the most. So, thanks for that. Um, I like these guys right here for encouraging me to keep going during my final test, who would like me to keep going. My grandmother, who I also call my me mom sometimes. And, um, for actually coming here because I didn't know she was going to come here. My Uncle Scott, my Aunt Anna, for sometimes who would visit at my house and ask me how it was going during my tests. And I, they were really happy when I said I was doing good. My grandmother, who always took me to class um, every single time before, um, my dad actually got laid off so he could take me. <laughs> she would take me to class every single day after she took my sister home from school. So I just want to thank her for that because without her, I wouldn't come here a whole lot. Uh, my dad, who during my black belt test, he was always criticizing me about the things that I did wrong because he would tell me, Keep your hands up, make those kicks straight. Everything that I did wrong, he would point out during the boot camp classes. And that was really tough for me because I did a lot of imperfections during those yeah. during that time. So during while we were eating, I would hear a whole lot of imperfections that I accidentally did. Yeah, I can tell you that. So just thanks everybody for helping me. That's it. Throw the kid in the water and he swims. So he's fine. I will do uh, that. Yes, sir. Uh, Alex, Mr. Toad, Mr. Toad, uh, obviously, um, really talented kid, extremely hard worker. Um, during, during the boot camp process, there were many times where he, he would, uh, I wouldn't say, get angry. He would get frustrated, and it was only because he knew he could do better, and um, he was just trying to trying to do better. And there were times when I was trying to teach, and he'd be like, Mr. Angel, Mr. Angel. I'm like, Alex, later, you know? Um, he always had a question. He's one of the only kids that I can guarantee you, in midair with jump tuck, ask you a question. Like, in <laughs> midair, Mr. Angel, and he's still in the air. And I'm like, after. But um, extremely talented kid. Um, we're talking about potential this whole month. And he's an example of someone has potential and adding those few extra things in order to make themselves better. So, good job. All right, I, I knew he'd be able to get through this testing process. I knew it would be a lot of hard work for him, but a few times I was nervous he was gonna have a heart attack or something. Hey, he got so stressed about, about these little tiny things. But he, those little things that he ended up making much, much better, even though it was just these tiny little things. I don't know how many times I told you to relax, breathe, you'll get it down. It's going to be okay. But he, he did a fantastic job. I think I might ask him for some advice on the push-up. Because you flew through those like they're nothing. That's the hardest thing for me. So you did a fantastic job through the testing process. I know you took it 100% seriously. And it definitely shows through your technique and your character now. Good job. Thank you. Alex Cole made a lot of um, a lot of improvement in his three months of boot camp. 
getting ready for his, his final black belt test to the point where I, I could say that to put him next to any one of our adult black belts and his Muay Thai is just as good. He really is. He took to it and, it, and he's really good at it. A lot, of, a lot of hard work went into it. Also a lot of, I think, natural athletic ability. But um, he really rates up there with some of our, our adult black belts as far as his martial arts ability goes. But to me, that's secondary to the other things that I, that I hope that he's, he's uh, accumulated from, from the program here and that he's, he's learned from the program. I think he just naturally is just a really good kid. He's friendly, he's helpful with other people. He goes out of his way, sometimes way out of his way to, uh, you know, to, to connect with people and talk to people. Um, but you know, just really had, did shine during the, the last three months of his his black belt test. And I think you know, as, as has been mentioned a couple times here today, you know, I think you're very hard on yourself. But I also think you're the kind of guy that no matter what you decide you're going to do in your life, you're just going to do it. And I don't think you need to be as hard on yourself as you are because I think you're naturally talented, and, and I think you're going to be be good at anything that you choose to do. So I'm, I'm proud to say that he's uh, he's our newest black belt. All right. Starting class in about 30 seconds, you gotta live up to this thing, yes sir? Yes, sir. Alright, very good. Does everyone stand up?